So let's jump over here into the editing window and do some stuff. First I want to show you a little something. Any mistake you make is as close to being fixed as edit, undo, or control Z. And also you can cut and copy. Here are the shortcuts, just X, C, V, and of course delete gets rid of whatever you're doing. And then let's go over to the end of this clip here because I want to show you something else. Say you want this clip to be just a little bit longer. You can fine tune it here. You move it to the inside until it turns into an arrow. Click and drag. It's as simple as that. And everything to the right moves to make room for it. Control Z. Same thing goes for making it shorter. Click and drag. Control Z. Same thing goes from making the beginning shorter or longer. Control Z. And don't be afraid to take this uh, audio here as cues for when to do things. Because you can see where some dialogue's going on and where there's silence. So we go over here. All our tracks are enabled and ready to go. Now before you get started, let's go over to the compositor window and I'll show you something. We're going to hit play at the loudest portion of our project, which is going to be right in here. And watch what happens on this fader. Man. You see that over there? Hi. You don't want that. Hi. That's going to cause it to distort. What I like to do is I like to set my... Most of the peaks are going to go up here to 5. That leaves me enough headroom to bump up to just shy of 0 if I need it. So let's uh, crank down our volume a little bit. And we're going to go here and I'm going to put my mouse over it and scroll down with my scroll wheel and that was really not that far over so let's just reduce it by three again these are linked so both of them are going to be moving just a tiny bit now let's go back and take a look at what happens Man. No more over, and it's not getting up to the zero. Hi. So our audio should be good to go. So let's add some transitions here. Let's scroll to, oh, right here, um, and go from Spider-Man to climbing on Mommy. So we're going to go to our video transitions. And I know I think a flash would be kind of cute there. <laughs> I haven't really given it much thought. So we click on flash, drag it over to the timeline where it turns into this little box that you see. Boom. Now we have our transition. And if you right click on it, um, you see it's turned on, its length is one second. You can detach it, which means get rid of it, or you can modify the length but I think one second is going to be good for us. Let's take a look up here in our compositor window. <laughs> there we go. And that's our first transition. And let's scroll over here to our next one. And let's do a... Uh, let's do a slide. So again, we grab the slide, move it over here on our video track, and drop it. Now we've got a slide effect. And the audio transition there was a little abrupt for me. So let's do something. 
let's go over here to our audio effects audio transitions you've only got one crossfade what this is going to do is it's going to fade one out fade the other up make for a smooth transition between the two so we're going to easy trick here move it till you're turning to the arrow and when you click it's going to automatically go between the uh, clips but you don't have to have it but right between the clips just so you can see it and you know where to drag it drag the crossfade over here drop it drag the crossfade over here and drop it make sure you don't lose it once it shows up <laughs> Now the audio is going to be a little bit smoother for doing the transition. And you might be able to hear it. Okay. And then we've got one more transition here. Between these two clips. Now I can already tell from looking at it. This is going to be an abrupt transition. So let's go ahead and do another audio crossfade. Let me get it where I can see that better. There we go. Back up to the video. And let's do a video transition. Shape wipe. This is fantastic. You can design your own. Well, you know what? This is just this is another tutorial. All, all on its own. Shape wipe. Now we want to show shows us the effect. And we want to do that because we have got several different ones that we can do. Let's go to browse and we can choose um, all kinds of different stuff. Surfable, clock, flirtily, Let's do a heart. And if you have any questions on what any of these are, just preview it. Let's move there. Hit play. Yeah. There we we're out in the battle. Okay. Now we have done transitions and the whole project. So I think I want to uh, actually fade in here. So we can do that with a dissolve because we're fading this track up from the track that was before it and the track before it is nothing. Click it. Drag it. And now we're fading in from black. Spider-Man! There we go. And now we have this great little project that we've done. Really easy. Just drag and drop things. The only thing wrong with it right now is it's still really interlaced. So, <clears throat> and I made a mistake before. It's not Control A or Control Z. It's just A and Z. Making things even easier. So let's uh, let's fix this. Let's use Cinelera's fantastic built-in interlacer. Uh, D interlacer. I've never had to do anything beyond the default settings, so let's do control, or sorry, not control, let's do A, select everything, go over here to video effects, click on deinterlace, and drag it over onto our video clip. And now if you look, we have this extra little thing beneath our entire project. This is our de interlacer. This is uh, your effect settings. The magnifying glass will get you your specifics on the effects, which, like I said, this is default. We don't need to worry about it. And this little power looking button will turn it off and on. And if you look up here, let me see if I can fit this all in the screen. Okay, turn it off. Turn it on. 
Eh, that's pretty cool looking actually. <laughs> so we'll leave it on. And we have done it. We have our whole project. What to do next? Let's save it.